This is Libby with Revzilla, here to talk to you today about the Bridgestone Battleaxe S20 Evo tire. All right, if you're checking out an S20 Evo tire, odds are pretty good you've got a super fast bike, but you don't want to drop a whole bunch of coin. This is a good tire to look at. Now, this is playing with the likes of the Conti Sport Attack, also going to be out there, you know, beating up against the Metzler M7. So if you're checking those tires out, the S20 Evo is also an appropriate choice for you. Now, I think the most standout part about this tire is the fact that it's delivering lots and lots of performance at a price that's not going to kill you. So when I say lots and lots of performance, these are made, as I had said earlier, for a variety of bikes. Whether you're riding something huge or you've got a smaller sub-liter sport bike, there's still going to be likely a tire size for you on this. But when it comes down to performance, these are super nifty tires. You've got them in some high speed ratings here, Zs right on up to Ws. You should know, too, that on the Z-rated and higher tires, check it out, these are dual compact pound tires. You can probably see the delineation here. You've got this softer, sticky stuff there in the corners, helping you keep your bike on your line when you're really buried, leaned over in a turn. But like I had mentioned, I think the coolest part about this tire really is the fact they're not going to sting you too bad on cash. If you're looking at your standard sport bike set of tires, the 18055ZR17 rear and a 12070 front, you're out the door for under 200 bucks. That's pretty impressive for a W-rated tire. Now, it's really easy for me to stand up here and talk about one of these, specifically because I have some seat time on one of these. We had a Yamaha XSR in the studio for quite a while. I put 2,000 miles on that bike, and I really beat the out of those tires. I went absolutely crazy on that bike, and I have a little bit of real-world experience on them. Regardless of dry or wet conditions, I found I could push that bike to the absolute maximum that I would take any bike to in the street, and these tires did everything I asked of them. I never once felt a lack of confidence on these skins. The one ding I have against the S20 Evo is it's not the most long-lasting tire out there. These things come stock, 730 seconds of tread out the door. After that 2,000 miles I put onto that bike, we were looking at 430 seconds of tread left on there. So ours are probably going to be ready for replacement fairly soon on that motorcycle. However, given the sticky nature of these tires, I feel like that's a very minor complaint. And for a lot of riders, that kind of mileage might be enough to get them through a season or even just get to a place where you got a couple more bones in your pocket to either grab another set of these or something different. All things considered, I was very happy with my time on the S20 Evos. I will gladly give up a little bit of mileage in order to get the extreme levels of grip that the S20 Evo was giving me when I was out there burning it up on the XSR. Don't take my word for it though. Click that info button on your desktop or your mobile device to see what a rider who has a bike similar to yours thought about S20 Evos on their rig. If you need a little bit more help, some more personalized attention, don't be afraid to get in touch with us. Get in touch with one of our gear geeks on the horn, 877-792-9455, or you can always drop us an email to cs at revzilla.com. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.